right, y'all, so this is the hair we are going to be using today. Okay, this is the name on the box. So this wig is from Super B Wigs Hair Company, okay? This is their box, and inside the box comes the wig. All right, y'all. So this is the this is the wig they sent me. This wig is um their three sixty, okay, three sixty lace, um and the texture of the hair is the loose deep, the loose wave, not the loose deep, but the loose wave curl pattern, okay. Uh, this is how it looks. It's only eighteen inches long. So it's not that long, and to be honest, the density of it is not much. It could be 150 density. It's not a lot of hair, okay? So just keep that in mind, but straight out, out of the box, the curls look really nice and natural looking, okay? And this is a 360 wig, so this is how the back also looks. Okay, and also the knots on this wig comes pre plug and pre bleach for you, so you do not have to go the extra steps of um, bleaching the knots when you do get the wig because the wig comes um, pre, pre plug and pre bleach for you. Okay, and now I'm just going to put the wig on my mannequin first. So I can see how well I want to customize it. And this is the hairline in the back. And this is the size. Okay, it looks pretty good and pretty plug out, especially in the front line area and especially on the side. But if we gonna do this 360 install. Um, we just gonna customize the back part a little bit more and just make it look a little bit natural. So when we do put it on, um, it looks a little bit seamless, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn the wig upside down, okay? And I'm going to put it back on the mannequin upside down. All right, so to get a, a flawless, um, to get a flawless um, install, especially when it comes to the back part, and to make sure that the lace lay down, whether you are using a glue or not, we gonna have to get rid of the scratchy adjustable band area. You have to get rid of this, and you have to get rid of the back comb. That's the only way the lace will be able to lay flat with a 360 for you to be able to get a flawless install in the back. So the first thing we're gonna do, you wanna be careful doing this part because like I said, this is very sharp and you don't want to rip your lace or put some holes in your lace in the back. You don't want that, so you wanna do this as careful as possible, not hurting yourself and not cutting the lace or putting holes in the lace. So we got rid of the comb, okay.
All right, so now that we got rid of the um, the adjustable stripes, I am going to take the wig off and turn it back around. I'm just taking my pair of tweezers, okay? And I'm going to plug out the back part a little bit more. You can see how natural it's starting to look in the back. Next, we're going to hot comb the back of the wig. Just like we do the front end, we hot comb and do all the jazz. That's exactly what we're going to do with the back of this wig. Using some heat protecting spray. I'm using my razor. I use a razor because I don't want a um, straight edge. The razor gave me a razor cut edge and it looks more natural. And then I'm going to sew both edges together so it makes the wig snug, okay? And I'm cutting this part off. So, all right, so you see you have a seamless look once you cut the extra piece off. All right, so this is the hairline, okay? of the lace with absolutely no glue on it, no adhesive on it, okay? You can pretty much wear it glueless just like this, 
Okay, and this is the back. If we pull it back a little bit, you can see it's snug to my hairline. All right, it is snug to my hairline. So, so every time, if I'm going to wear it, I'm going to use just a little bit of got to be spray and got to be gel. So I'm taking a small layer of the got to be gel. And secure the lace in place. I'm going to do the same thing with this side. And secure the lace. All right, y'all, so I went in here, I did my makeup, okay? You're looking cute up in here. And this is the hair, I I tied the front down, then when I was doing my makeup, I went in here and I tied the back down, just so that the back can lay down, so that the lace can be nice and flat back there. Now I'm just gonna pour the hair up into a cute little bun step. So I'm going to pour it up now and do a cute little high bun. You can leave it like this and be cute. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit of heat protector and spraying it just to lay. You can be cute like this, sis. Sis, who are you? Look at you, sis. Let me stop playing around. Okay, so we get finished. So once we have our bun, I'm just gonna wrap this around. Take 